Hi, this is Julia Bag with Moms with a Mic. Marissa Bag is on assignment, and this afternoon I am hanging out with some friends, some fellow moms here, and a little play date. Say hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Here are some of the kiddos. So, how important would you guys say it is to just be able to hang out with other moms like we are right now? Because for me, I love I love being with you guys, and it's such a release. What about for you, Tracy? I think that that's really good because you have to keep yourself occupied. You know, at the house with the baby, it's it's great and all, but you need to have people that you can talk to without just basic words like cat, dog, shoe. You know, like that that's all fun and nice, but it's nice to talk to people who can actually discuss something more than that. Oh, share. Everybody's sharing. You're not sharing. She is sharing. I think it's um it's good to have kids different ages because we can kind of advice one another, um, give advices or recommendations, or I did this, and you could do that. So I think that's very helpful when you have a group of moms with different experiences and we can kind of share that. Mm -hmm. We get the break, yeah. we entertain each other. So. Yeah, they do. It is a break when we yes. get together, isn't it? It, it is. A break. It totally is. Look, and they're going to sleep so to. long tonight because <laughs> they're worn out. You're going to sleep well tonight, Charlotte? Yeah. Yeah, you did such a great job. They have to learn to share when we're all together and with different ages. I accidentally lit a croissant on fire. <laughs> it's really great to have friends who don't judge you when you light a croissant on fire. I've definitely learned a lot from you guys. And like, I appreciate you going through it first before me, you know? And so I can um, learn from, you know, what goes well and what doesn't, yeah. what doesn't work, you know, and you I let think, me know. I like, think it used to be everybody had a village and now it's not as common, you know? So I think that's the other thing about having mom friends. It's like, this is our, this is our village, you know? When you really need something, I know I could call anybody and they can come help. And just knowing that that help is, that that is there, even if you don't actually use it, that also gives me peace of mind, you know? And that you're not alone, you know? And like, because when you are alone with a little child all day long, you do start to go crazy. Go crazy, and, yeah, yeah, sure. totally, yeah. So it's good talking to other um, moms who are in the same situation. And you two are, it's gonna be the second time around, what, you know, going into baby number two, yeah, I think it's some of it is wondering if I'll do things, some things different the same second time around. I don't know if you feel the same way. Thank you, Sebastian. Oh, thank you. Are these your mama's glasses and your mama's keys? I think those are my glasses. Oh, That's cool. Oh, those are my keys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's also different. Like Giovanna's son is three. Charlotte is going to be two when my when my second one is born. So um, there's like I'm still breastfeeding her. I don't know if I'll still be breastfeeding by the time the baby comes, you know, so I think you just got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, some things may just automatically be different, you know, because she had all my undivided attention, but automatically the second child isn't going to have that, you know. She never liked to, be, to go in a baby carrier when mm -hmm. she was little, but I am not. don't think I'm going to give the second one a choice. <laughs> you know, he's going to have to just go in a carrier because otherwise you need your hands, you know, when yeah. you've got two kids. So. It's just, that's just what's happening. Yeah, totally. I definitely want to um, breastfeed as long as I'm done with him. I kind of reason the same, but it's a girl. Just like Rebecca's having a, a boy, she had a girl. I have a boy, now I'm having a girl. So I feel like things are going to be different. Um, also personality-wise, they're all different. The pregnancies are totally different. Two children at two different ages with different toys and different emotional you know, development, like she's going to be two, the terrible twos, they say, mm -hmm. you know, so I think it's great for her to be around other children and at other people's houses and learning to share and things like that, you know, that's really, I think, key in preparing her. They love each other. <laughs> she's had me all to herself all the time, <laughs> 24 hours a day. It's going to be a yeah, big change. Totally. All right, this has been Moms to the Mic Playdate Edition. Thanks so much <laughs> to all my friends for being a part of this. Bye, Moms. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shelly. Thank you for checking out our NBC6 South Florida YouTube channel. You want more videos like the kind you just watched? Click right here on the subscribe button below. Get the latest stories, interviews, caught on camera, and more. Digital exclusives as well, all for you. Subscribe now.